Hi guys, welcome to some advanced one-handed example solves. Um, in these solves I'm going to be doing some of the more advanced techniques that I've shown in the advanced one-handed module. Um, so things like uh, intuitive edge orientation, um, using CLL, OLCP, that sort of thing. So let's start out by looking at this scramble. Um, I see I've got this one, this one, this one, and this one for our white cross. Now I also see I've got these two pieces as well. So I guess a nice way to preserve these would be to do something like uh, holding it like this is U, R, L, and then F, and then do a D prime and insert these cross edges. And then before I do the R prime, I can just do a U prime, R prime. And then I've got this F to L pair that I can insert back here, like that. Then I've got these two, which I can insert into this front slot. And my next two are these two, so I'm going to have to rotate after that, which is fine. And then rotate, and well, there are a few different ways I can solve this F2L pair. One is just to go U prime, R, U, R prime, U, R, U, R prime. And now I've got OLL. Um, I have just a normal soon COLL, so I know that when I do this, I'm going to get an edge only PLL, and I just have a U permutation. So that was quite a nice last layer. Okay, for this second scramble, we've got our cross pieces here, 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 and up here. Um, it's going to be a little bit trickier, but I think we can we can manage this. So we can just do something like D U two, and then insert these two like that. Then I'd probably regrip, and then either do a wide R two, uh, a wide U, and then R two, or just U R two D like that. Um, I think either of them, even though the second option is more moves, um, I think it's a little bit quicker to execute in terms of TPS. Um, okay, so the first F2L pair I'm going to do with these two, and I see they've got this corner and this edge over here. So I can solve these with R prime F, U prime F prime R. Now I've got these two back here, and I've also got these two pieces here. So what I can probably do is just insert these ones down here, and now I've got these two, and what I can do is do a, a VLS. So for this case, we've got this bar here, and this uh, night move shape up here. So uh, yeah, not, not a night move, just like a lightning bolt, and we've got this bar here. So we can do U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U, R prime, with all the R moves being wide. And now for our last layer, I just have a G permutation. For PLL, I just have a G permutation. And we're done. And we're okay, after our white crosses, we have, uh, I'm going to do three color neutral examples. Um, in this first one, let's see what we can do. Um, Hmm, there's a few different options. Um, I might go for green. So if we do something like, and watching this corner and this edge, so we can do something like D prime, R, U prime, F, to set these two up and set these three edges up, and then D2. And now we can just insert this before doing the R, or we can do something like U prime, R, to move these back here and then insert them into this back left slot. Um, now I see I have these two here. Um, probably what I'll do to orient this last layer edge is just do a sledgehammer, like that. And then I can go ahead and do these two, like so, and then these two. Then do my OLL, and I have a V permutation. All right, let's have a look, see what we've got. Um, and the red looks like our best option. And I guess the challenge now is to figure out how we're going to do this extended cross. Um, hmm, let's have a look. 
probably what I would go for is something like this. So uh, I need to do these two. I need to I use this corner and this edge to make the extended cross whilst also solving, of course, our red cross pieces. So I can do something like this. So U R prime and then U R U prime R prime. Now I have this one and these two set up. So I can just do something like F2 D prime R2 prime like that. And now that solves that first, um, that, that extended cross. And then after the extended cross, I can just see this corner and this edge down here. So probably what I'll do is solve it like that to put it on this left hand side. Um, now I wouldn't see this in a speed solve, but it's really cool that actually, even though we've only solved two F12 pairs on red, we've got this big block up here. So if you're doing like, I don't know, if you're doing slow solves or something, it might be a good idea to just switch to the yellow side now and just do a U move and then you have three pairs solved on yellow. That's kind of, yeah, not something you'd see in a speed solve, but something that's kind of funny. Um, so now I have these three last layer edges oriented like this, right? And I kind of want to insert these last two pairs um, and make sure that the last layer edges remain oriented. So uh, one of the things I can do is, uh, I don't want to really want to solve this one because that one's not going to be great. Um, although I guess there's one way we could do this. Um, okay. Yeah. A few different ways we can do this. Um, I can do a sledgehammer like this. And what that does, that orients, uh, this edge and this edge, right? So now all of our edges are oriented from this angle. So I can go ahead and solve these two with just R and U moves. And then these two with just R and U moves like that. And now I have a ZBLL case. So this is just uh, swapping these two and swapping these two corners. So if we do an R prime, we effectively have a T permutation here. So I do R prime U prime T permutation U R. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got on this next scramble. Um, doesn't seem to be that much going on here. White looks decent. Blue looks slightly better, I think. So I'll probably just go with blue and not worry too much about trying to do anything fancy. Just try and execute the cross um, well and plan, plan a nice solution. So I can do these two by doing white R prime, D prime, white R like that. And as I was doing that, um, these two pieces on the back here, this this F2L pair wasn't affected. So now when I insert this white and blue one, white R prime, U white R, these two come over to this position. So once I do a D move, uh, sorry, D prime move, it should have been, then I'll go ahead and solve these two into this front left slot, like that. Then I'll solve these two into this back right slot. Um, now, I've got this corner and this edge here and these two last layer edges here, both uh, misoriented from this angle. So it doesn't really matter too much how I do these two. Uh, I'm going to end up probably orienting one of these last two. So I'll do R U prime R prime, U R prime U prime R like that. And now I have these two and I want to get this last layer edge oriented. So I'll do a rotation, do something like R U prime R prime, rotate again, R prime U two R like that. Now I'm going to do a soon, anti-soon, sorry, and then I have an A permutation.